Welcome back to this week's Fastest Minute in Construction. I'm Nate Beck, Daily Reporter Staff Writer. Let's dig into the news. A worker was struck and killed by a lift vehicle last week at the site of Green Bay Packaging's $500 million paper mill in the city. Police say a 52-year-old man working for a subcontractor on the project was killed when he was struck by a SkyTrack telehandler on the job site. He was pronounced dead when authorities arrived on the scene. Myron Construction is the general contractor on Green Bay Packaging's new mill and is employing 600 subcontractors on the job that broke ground in August 2018. Contractors may be bouncing back from a pandemic-induced slowdown this spring, although a trade group warns that long-term problems could persist. A survey from the Associated General Contractors and Data Service Procore shows contractors have begun hiring workers as job hours nationally rebounded from a slump this spring. Despite a dip in work hours in the early days of the pandemic, Wisconsin has seen the number of hours worked in the state increase weekly since late March. Association officials say just 8% of contractors they polled in June expect they'll need to lay off workers, compared with 21% that said they're hiring. But construction companies are still looking to Congress to shield them from legal liability if a worker catches COVID-19 on the job, and for lawmakers to invest more in infrastructure to offset a dip in private project demand. That's it for this week's punch list. We'll see you next week.